Good morning. This is training video number one. This can curb a lot of different behaviors and also teach a lot of behaviors. So this is one of the things you really want to do with your dogs. This dog that I'm working with this morning, her name is Chloe. And she's going to be eating her breakfast hand fed this morning. I have a clicker because I'm trying to teach these guys how to work with a clicker. This way they'll know they've done something good. They're going to hear this noise. They're going to get a treat or a bunch of treats. See, she's already heard it. She's already looking for food and she's offering me behaviors. I'm not going to ask her what to do. She's going to have to offer me things to do. So I'm just going to sit here with her and wait for her to give me something and I'm then going to name it. So I was a little quick. I should have done click, then down. You click the second they do the motion. It's once their body hits the floor, you want to click the clicker or give the reward. We're going to skip down this time so she'll start giving me different and new behaviors. Chloe, come. This dog doesn't like to come, so we're already when she's in motion, we say come and then click. Oh. What are we gonna do? Sit. That's nice. You're not very very uh, creative this morning. Now sometimes in the morning they're not very creative, they're kind of sleepy still. They'll think of things to get their food. See, I rewarded her for wagging her tail because I don't want her to get bored. I want her to keep trying. See, we worked on come yesterday, and she is really progressed just by doing a bowl game. I know they're making that.
those of you that don't want to use a clicker when paw, you have about two seconds to reward the behavior. So, as for example, Chloe come up and touched my hand. I said paw and gave her a cookie. So since Chloe looks a little uninterested this morning, come. Or seems uninterested. We're gonna let her go in the crate and we're gonna bring some meat. Chloe, crate. This is our foster dog, Simmy, who likes this game. He really likes it. She really likes it. Oh. Round. You can reward them for things like going around your body because when the leashes get they go around you and your leash is stuck, that's a good thing to have. So he's gonna she's gonna get a little bit more food because that's something I want her to try again. If they get out of their placement, just even if you clicked, they'll give them a reward. Around. Sit. Now with this game, your dog will look at you for leadership and also for food and for guidance. They'll start giving you behaviors. And they'll also start offering you the cutest tricks to get food. around. Now the proper term for me that was my mistake was come about. It's a different way so I should have named it come about. Scoop! See, we just have dog food. Nothing special. We just, they're hungry. Our dogs are hungry. Drag. Simi likes to eat, so she likes to play this game. about try Simmy's paw went across her face yesterday and I named it shy and she remembered it from yesterday. She remembered I liked it. Shy.
wet. Dry. Dry. So now that she's offering that quite often, you can start seeing crawl. You can start seeing if she knows it by command since you've been naming it after you give her a cookie. Simmy, shy, good girl. And she gets a jackpot for knowing it by command. So now, Simi officially knows the trick because you've been feeding her out a bowl and telling her the words for the things she offers. Good girl, Simi. And that's our lesson for today of how to get your dog to be smart. We're not, we're gonna turn our dogs into little geniuses instead of little robots who only do what we've taught them to do. We want them to think, of our, think on their own and make their own choices. So instead of I have to look over there and tell him not to do that, he's going to be like, uh, that's mom's rug. No, 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 no. Maybe I should figure out how to get her attention. My dog, Loki, gets my attention by sitting against the wall. That's his cue to pee. He can do it at anyone's house, and I know he has to pee. So, that's our step one. Start feeding your dog. You can do this on the couch. Very, very, very lazy friendly. I love it. I love to do it on the couch. I like to sit on the floor. I like to sit in the recliner doing it. Your dog loves it. If you don't want your dog to bark, don't reward for barking, and they'll quit barking for the game. Last note is do not mark for anything you don't want. Like, I don't want her doing this. I'm definitely not going to reward that. So, be safe. Don't reward anything you want the dog to stop doing. And... Reward everything you think is cute for a trick, cute for obedience, and you want to keep going with in the future. Because those behaviors will keep going up. If you think it could turn into your dog turning off the lights, then keep going for it because it'll happen. If your dog steps on a bed, say, go to bed. Click. I was doing that with my dog last night. She doesn't know the cue, but she's getting it. Thank you for watching.